This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well. My name is Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Hope everyone is doing well. This is the channel where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. So folks, that man on your screen is none other than Darren Dimitri Mattox. And Darren Dimitri Mattox has retired from professional football. Darren Mattox has now turned his attention. I don't want to say just because for the last two years, he has taken Christianity more seriously. And you guys would have seen the interview that we did with Darren Mattox, where he spoke from the heart about how God has impacted him, his family, his life as a whole. And that's the direction that he said he started his own YouTube channel where he's given encouragement, building spiritual faith in individuals and, and preparing them for what lies ahead as well in the future. And he's following the principles that is found. Let me just, Ekariks, hope you're doing well. Let me just give you guys the a scripture that he's following to a T. It's found at Matthew chapter 6. That's Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Now, it says, Keep on then seeking first the kingdom and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added to you. So he's following the principles from that scripture in particular. And I'll show you the other scripture that he's following quite closely to a T. That is Romans chapter 10 and verse 11. Romans chapter 10 and verse 11. Romans chapter 10 and verse 11 says, For the scripture says, No one who rests his faith on him will be disappointed. So he's also following that scripture quite well to a T. And finally, he is following this scripture to a T. Psalms chapter 37 and verse 4. Psalms chapter 37 and verse 4 reads, Find exquisite delight in Jehovah, and he will grant you the desires of the heart. So, Darren Mattox following these principles to a T, assiduously, and that is the situation here. Darren Mattox, as we know, in terms of active players, was Jamaica's highest goal score in terms of active players. Represented Jamaica from 2012 to 2019. Made his debut for Jamaica in a 2-0 victory over El Salvador in the United States. Yep, that's right. It was a friendly. And he did come on in that game where Jamaica took on the United States at home. That's right. He did come on in that game in particular where Jamaica won 2-1. 2013, we saw bits and pieces of him as well. And then 2014, he was part of the team, that, the Jamaican team that won the Caribbean Cup. So he's won a trophy with Jamaica, which was the Caribbean Cup in 2014. 2015, he was part of Jamaica's squads for the Copa America and also the Gold Cup. And we know he scored in the Gold Cup final, one of only two Jamaicans to actually score in a Gold Cup final. And not only that, he's Jamaica's all-time leading goal scorer in CONCACAF Gold Cup history. No other reggae boy has scored more goals than Darren Mattox in the history of the CONCACAF Gold Cup. No other reggae boy have scored, has scored more goals than Darren Mattox in the history of the Gold Cup. No other reggae boy. We know that his 
impact in that Gold Cup in 2015 came in the latter stages of the competition itself, where he scored key goals against the United States in the semifinals, of course, in the final against Mexico. One of only two Jamaicans to score in a Gold Cup final, Javon Watson and Darren Mattox. One of only two Jamaicans to do that in particular. And he also scored for Jamaica in the Gold Cup in 2017 as well, as you guys remember against Curaçao. Yeah, he scored in that you know, Gold Cup as well in 2017. Scored against Curaçao in that tournament. Scored against El Salvador as well. You know, and even when you look a little bit further within the competition as well, scored key goals. Key goals for Jamaica all across the board. 2019, he didn't score in the group stages in 2019, but you know what he did do? He helped Jamaica secure their first victory over Panama in a decade. Remember that penalty shootout? His, his one of his last goals for Jamaica. Yeah, his last goal for Jamaica. He scored from the penalty spot as Jamaica defeated Panama by a goal to nil. Where he wanted to take the penalty and he took it. And it was just wonderful memories. Wonderful, wonderful memories. And let me tell you guys something. You see, the 18 goals that Darren Mattox scored for Jamaica in his 50 appearances. Of the 18 goals that Darren Mattox scored for Jamaica, <clears throat> let me tell you guys something. And this is going to make you guys say, hmm, this is quite interesting. All right. So, Fourteen of his eighteen goals came in games which Jamaica won. Fourteen of his eighteen goals came in games which Jamaica won. That's seventy-seven percent. So whenever Darren Mattox scores for Jamaica, there's a seventy-seven point seven percent chance that Jamaica would score. The only times that Darren Mattox scored for Jamaica and and Jamaica didn't win was the Gold Cup final against Mexico in twenty fifteen. The first game of the Caribbean Cup in 2014 against Martinique in a 1-1 draw. And two against, well, one against Nicaragua. So, actually, one against Nicaragua and one against El Salvador. Yeah. But, you know, he did help Jamaica in numerous ways, you know, with his goals. Numerous, 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 numerous ways. He scored those key goals in the Caribbean Cup to help Jamaica progress far in the competition. He scored key goals against Venezuela, Cuba in friendly international, scored against the United States in a Gold Cup semi-final, he scored against Mexico in a Gold Cup final, he scored against Nicaragua as Jamaica secured their first vic one of their few victories on Central American soil, giving them a 1-0 lead in Nicaragua, he scored against Curaçao at the, the Gold Cup in 2017, he scored Jamaica's first ever goal in the CONCACAF Nations League. Can you imagine that? He scored Jamaica's first ever goal in the CONCACAF Nations League in a 4-0 victory over the Cayman Islands. He scored a brace that day in a 4-0 victory. That's right. He scored Jamaica's first ever goal in the CONCACAF Nations League. First ever, 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 ever goal. First ever goal. <clears throat> he scored against Barbados, St. Lucia, Martinique, Antigua and Barbuda, Haiti, Venezuela, Cuba, United States, Mexico, Nicaragua, Curaçao, El Salvador, Cayman Islands, Suriname, Panama. So he scored two goals at the 2015 World Cup. He scored two goals at the 2017 World Cup. And he scored once, one goal at the 2019 edition. Five World Cup, World Cup goals that he has scored. Five goals at the World Cup. Yeah. Key goals, key goals that he has scored for Jamaica. Manicholson has three goals in Gold Cup history. Maybe, maybe he might break Darren Mattox's record. He would have to score three goals at the upcoming Gold Cup to break that record in particular, you know? So, but trust me, Darren Mattox, I was, I'm fully aware of his journey, fully, fully aware of his journey from Bridgeport moving forward because, you know, when I was at Hillel Academy, we played Bridgeport at under 14 level and we see, we'd, we'd see the Bridgeport um, under 19 team training and we just were like, wow, we were just amazed by what they saw. Absolutely amazed. So it was no surprise to see him 
going to Akron in the States, 39 goals, 47 appearances, nominated for different, different awards, you know, Caleb Porto, so, so critical to his growth. And then seeing him being snapped up by Vancouver, the second pick overall within the draft. I expected him, honestly, to be first, but Andrew Wagner had that opportunity. Somebody had to even stop playing football before Darren Maddox, you know? So that's the situation there. But for me, the way that he started at Vancouver, it was just like, bam, bam, like, listen, folks, I'm here. I'm going to conquer the world. And trust me, in that moment, that first season at Vancouver, that very first season, that goal against Toronto at the BMO field, that season as a whole, nine goals in 25 appearances in all competitions, just a shade, just a shade of, you know, a goal in two and a half appearances. For me, Vancouver was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful environment for him. Played as well at the Timbers, had some fortune there, scored a couple of goals there, DC United, played with Wayne Rooney a little bit, and also got some goals at DC, went to FC Cincinnati as well. And then of course, 2020, as you know, was the year where COVID stopped everything. And then went to Sudan and joined Al Marik in Sudan, but <laughs> wasn't there long. And you guys can watch the interview that I did with him where he talked about the story, in particular why it didn't work out. But certainly it was, a, it was an inspirational story that helped him to draw closer to God. And of course, the last club was Phoenix Rising, where he scored five goals in 10 appearances. For me, and Darren, I know you're watching this, you've been an outstanding servant to Jamaican football. Do I think that you could have accomplished more? Personally, I had I had high expectations. I personally felt that you had the ability to play in Europe, and I'm, I'm confident and I know you had opportunities, but it wasn't the right fit for you at the time, which is fine. That is absolutely fine. Personally, you've been an outstanding servant for Jamaica. All of your goals, memorable, absolutely memorable. The ones against Barbados and St. Lucia and Martinique and Antigua and Cuba and Venezuela and Curaçao and Mexico and Nicaragua and USA and Panama. Trust me, every single goal I remember. And for me, you are somebody that will be remembered in Jamaican footballing history. You will be somebody that will be in Jamaican football history because you've already left an imprint. Something that will never, ever, 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 ever be taken away from you. You're the first man, first reggae boy to score in a Gold Cup final. The first reggae boy to score in the CONCACAF Nations League. Right? Jamaica's all-time leading goal scorer in the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Spent numerous seasons within Major League Soccer. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best, man. You've done an absolutely fantastic job. Absolutely fantastic job. And as we know, and I know you know the scripture as well, Psalms 37 verse 4, Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, Romans 10 verse 11. I could go on and on with other scriptures. It's simple. When you put God first, everything else is added to you. Look at Matthew chapter 24, verse 14 as well. You'll find some hidden gems there. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. And Psalms 83, verse 18. Look up those scriptures in particular, and that will give you more clarity as well to everything. First responder says, good career, Darren. You and Tapa ended. Talented player, should have played more games for Jamaica. I think he, I think 20 goals, I think he was a person capable of getting 20 goals for Jamaica. Absolutely. Talented player, absolutely talented. I think if he exercised and get in shape, he could walk into a USL team. Absolutely. Absolutely. He could walk into almost any USL team, even USL 1, he could walk in tomorrow morning. Yeah. Absolutely, 150%. And you guys remember in the last interview, we spoke about 
he spoke about perhaps doing a season with Walter Host, but you know, the situation is that's not the story, you know. So that's where we are right now. He's 32. But you never know, folks. Suppose two years' time he says the body feels good and you could do one season in the JPL. Well, let's see. Let's see what the future holds because as you guys are aware, life is so unpredictable. Life is so unpredictable. So unpredictable. So, yeah. So, yeah. So that's how I feel about the situation. <sighs> Darren Mattox is supremely, supremely talented. And he did a good job for Jamaica. A really, really good job. I think he, there's more that he could have accomplished. But an outstanding servant to the country. Was part of Jamaica's squads to the 2014 Caribbean Cup. 2015 Copa America. 2015, 17, and 19 CONCACAF Gold Cups. Every time Darren Mahux went to the Gold Cup with Jamaica, Jamaica went to at least the semifinals of the competition. That's right, folks. He was. He won awards, too. He won awards along the way. Top Jar Soccer.com Men's National Player of the Year 2011. Mid American Conference Men's Soccer Player of the Year 2011 as well. And when you're looking at, at these accolades and these awards, you know, no Jamaican, no other Jamaican has been in this category or won these sorts of awards. So from that standpoint, you have to you have to commend you have to commend the progress. You have to commend what has happened. It has been absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that's what I say where that is concerned. I don't think coaching is on his mind. I don't think coaching is his mind. His, his mind is on his family and God. And we wish him all the best. And I want him to continue putting God first place in his life. You know, I'd have loved to see him give one more chance to see if an opportunity would present itself in the States or elsewhere and give one last go. 32, but that's the situation. The Jamaican Didier Drogba, <laughs> the most confident player I've seen. He exuded a lot of confidence. He exuded quite a bit of confidence. Quite a bit, for sure. So as it stands, folks, Darren Mattox is the seventh highest goal scorer for the Reggae Boys. Luton Shelton, 35 goals. Anandi Lowe, 27. Theodore Tapa Whitmore, 24. Paul Young, 22, Andy Williams, 22, Walter Boyd, 19, Paul Davis, 18, Darren Mattox, 18, Hector Wright, 16, Paul Hall, 14. Those are the top 10 highest goal scorers for the Reggae Boys. Top 10. That's right. And Darren Mattox is one of them. Yes, he's one of them. 18 goals in 50 appearances for Jamaica. That's basically a goal average of 0 0.36. So almost a little better than a goal every three games based on that record in particular. So that's the situation, folks. That's where we are at right now. <sighs> folks, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's hear what you have to say about Darren Mattox. Smash the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. Great content coming your way later today. All right, guys? So stay tuned for that. So the latest for right now, Darren Mattox has retired from professional football. So more content to come your way. All right, guys? Speak soon. Cool. This video is brought to you by Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876 Three zero nine six one two eight.
That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mmm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876 586 0471. That's 876 586 0471.